Welcome back, Tigers, to another Between the Learns podcast, also known as National Friday, also known as Podcast Day. I'm joined here always with Dr. Fitz, Edward, and Aiden. How are y'all doing today? Doing great. Doing really well. good. Today we are joined by the boys' swimming team as we transition into winter sports, um, and we'll highlight girls' swimming next week. So my first question is, uh, y'all are coming into this new season without a head coach. How has that been affecting your training? Um, well, first of all, I'm Owen and this is Mark. Oh, my bad. And, uh, <laughs> we're on the sports swim team. <laughs> and it's a great question because we, uh, our, our last coach, uh, Mr. Coach Carpenos, has uh, since not taken on that role this year. And now it's uh, Coach Stern who's doing a lot of the work. And, you know, she swam all throughout high school. She was telling me yesterday how she swam two practices a day in high school. Uh, so she certainly has no shortage of experience, and so the workouts she's doing, trust me, are just as tough, and uh, I'm f- confident that we'll be prepared. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, and then, what did y'all accomplish last year, and how do you plan to build upon it that this season? I mean, I think we accomplished a lot last year. Obviously, going to state is the main goal. You know, me and Owen, we both went last year. I think we're looking to go again and maybe get on the podium. Um, and then, you know, like racing can be something tough. So like, what do you guys tell yourself before you like, before that beep goes off? I'm not sure if it's a beep or a gun in the swimming pool, but, uh, yeah, beep. So what do you do? They don't do guns indoors. Yeah, that's probably, (laughs) probably not the best. (laughs) Yeah, it would. (laughs) Yeah. Um, the echo would go crazy. Um, what, what, so what do you guys tell yourself to mentally prepare yourself? Yeah, I mean, it's all like positive thoughts, but I don't know. You try not to think too much about it because you don't want to get yourself like too nervous before the race or anything. And once you hit the water, it's like your mind's blank and you're just you're going. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I I I don't actually think don't drown, but it's like you have to have kind of that that mindset where it's like I'm the best out here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean this literally and figuratively. As y'all have been getting your feet wet. <laughs> in the last like few weeks, <laughs> um, who's like who's like been your strongest swimmers that kind of have been a surprise to y'all? Like who who really improved over the summer? Uh, well, that 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 have been at practice so far. We keep in mind I've only been going for a week and a half now, um, but my boy Mark right here, like he's been on fire. He has been. Uh, Tickling my feet every practice, which, which I mean, that's that happens when you're you're catching the person in front of you. So Is that also both thing. literally and figuratively? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> no comment on that. What uh, what events do you guys do? I mean, have you done in the past? I don't know if that'll change. Last year I was uh, sprint freestyle and uh, breaststroke, and I was uh, also like sprint freestyle and some backstroke. And I mean, this year I. I don't know. It could be the same, mm-hmm. but uh, at least Mark, I know. Uh, what was Coach telling you? Yeah, about the she two, wants to do like two hundred IM and the hundred fly, which are like brutal. Like probably the two like most brutal races. So I don't know how I'm excited about that. We'll see. Would you rather swim the two hundred IM or the eight hundred free? <laughs> two hundred IM. Two IM. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. So you guys, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys swim on a relay together last year, correct? Right. Yeah. Okay. So on that, like, when you guys are, when you guys have a relay, is there like a sense of bonding that like forms there? Like, I guess my question is like, what is that culture like when you're preparing to swim one of those? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah it's, it's great. Going, going like, into the battle with, with yeah. your boys, and it's like, yeah, we're all just swimming for each other, trying to give each other the best shot we have. And, like, the energy we have is really, really impressive because a lot of these guys don't swim year-round, uh, including myself. I would say most people don't. So, you know, <laughs> maybe we don't know how to act, but we, we, we know how to be loud sometimes yeah. more than the other teams or a lot of times more than the other teams, especially coming from baseball where uh, the dugout can be rowdy. It's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fun environment. You can really feel the kind of electricity in the water. Um, so, you know, you, you're talking about, like, how, how energy can kind of affect y'all's game. Like, how, how would it 
a feature game if, if you got some fans out there, some people to kind of support? I mean, I think that would have a huge impact. I mean, yeah, energy's great, you know, going to – I mean, swimming's hard, so, like, having all the support you can get would be awesome. Yeah, I mean, no, no one – really shows up for for swim meets besides our parents well i just i just think well at least me personally i don't know where where the swim meets are like i think i think the word just needs to get out yeah right it's a good point so so where are the swim meets (laughs) uh innsworth a lot of times and centennial sportsplex those are the two main pools all right so folks if you just show up to like innsworth or centennial you have a 50 50 (laughs) chance of getting to the right place so that's that's good enough for me. Uh, our schedule is uh, still under progress, trying yeah. to figure out where the meets are. But yeah, uh, yeah if you show up, that'd be great. Trust me, like we may not be able to hear you when we're in the water, but we're still you're still a part of it. I know. Last year, people would. I mean, for the state meet at least, they would show up with like face cutouts. Where can we get our hands on a face cutout? So when we're cheering y'all on, we have those. I mean, we I could just take know. it from my from my life sized. Uh, like wall decoration of Owen Block. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> just go, just print one. <laughs> um, so I guess, do you guys like in terms of the whole team? Do y'all do like stuff to bond together and make sure that like, because even though you're doing individual events, when it comes down to it, like you know your points are coming together as a team. So what do you guys do to like help bond all together? Yeah, I mean, just like every practice, just like kind of struggling together. Is like obviously creates a big bond because you see everyone ahead of you like going hard and it kind of pushes you to also like push yourself so I guess that kind of creates like pretty good bond like between the people in your lane and in the group yeah honestly I, I would say during practice we have this we have this speaker right that that coach brought in and we get to put songs on this playlist to play during practice while we're swimming and I say that's brought us pretty close together in terms of you know, because we're because you're either like in the group that like likes the music or doesn't like the music, and so you kind of like rally around that. Um, right now, I think our playlist sounds like a rom com soundtrack, but other than that, I mean, like you're still struggling through it together. What's y'all's power song? Like, what what song gets gets you going in the water? Um, definitely some Lil Yachty. Yeah, we were talking Sawyer, about this. This Sawyer was one of Beckham, questions. Love some Lil Yachty. Yeah, so, with Yachty. Uh, I would put Baby Keem. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, stuff like that. When you guys play music, is it just like you just come up for like a split second and then you hear and then it's like muffled and then up again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you kind of have to like fill in the gap. <laughs> yeah. Actually, over the water. Yeah. That's great. Uh, would you say like, hey, Owen, Owen, this question is especially for you, but like, would you say that it's equivalent of the feeling of like a walk up song? No. No, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> I think walking up is a little bit different than like diving down and like <laughs> yeah, directionally sure. and also because you sure. can't breathe. Yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> for sure. Um, for those of you that didn't know, we had a, a couple of commits in these last couple of weeks. A uh, big shout out to Townsend and Colin uh, and Owen oh, here, yeah. uh, Thank you. Our, our special guest. Owen and Townsend committed to watch you. Uh, Colin committed to Vassar just yesterday, so make sure you give them a big high five and a smile. Um, so, yeah, I guess that that's what we have on boys swimming, and now we will turn it over to Edward Crane to give us just the scores this past week. So we're starting a new segment with this podcast called Just the Facts, where I, Edward Crane, bring you Just the Facts. So this week on Monday, the hockey team competed against Station Camp um, and got a win 4-1 to one, with big performances by Jordan Palmieri and Nett and two goals by Mr. Benton Laird and Mr. Ryan Barrett. The cross-country team we mentioned earlier had a huge performance at the region meet with second and third place finishes by Austin Kaysen and Ryder Ortner, and then solid finishes by Eli Galantino, Frederick Rudolph, um, and Jack, who is an 8th grader, who's really fast. And so this week, um, the team will face off in the state meet against all the teams in the state meet um, out of Sanders Ferry. So if you'd like to go cheer on the boys and girls teams, both of whom 
uh, made it past the region meet, then you can fill out a form to get on the spirit bus, but make sure you have your teacher sign it. Um, look, other than that, hockey plays next week a couple times on Monday and Wednesday. Swimming gets started. Um, and as Olivia mentioned, we will have girls swimming on next week's podcast. Yeah, I just wanted to, to make a quick note on, on Ryder Ortner. I think we should normalize calling him the phantom freshman. Uh, he's been absolutely astounding on, on the, in these sports. And I think that's just kind of would incite fear in, in our opponents if they just saw on the roster the phantom freshman. Um, that's all for me, though. Someone, <laughs> someone should pull up to the cross country state meet with just go phantom freshman. Yeah, I or just, or just, yeah, or just like, like whisper it, so so it's really like mystery, mystery like, mysterious, <laughs> uh, and and. I think I would be frightened if I was running against somebody that was called a phantom freshman. These are all great ideas. I just wanted to put that. That's there. this is where they are made. This like these are and this is the place of invention and innovative thinking. Creativity that's like that's like a key. subtitle for the podcast. Between the learns, creative hub for invention and thinking. Yeah. Can we yeah. add that? Yeah, we'll I think add that in. Just put a little asterisk. I love that. So. Um, yeah, go go out to support cross country this week. Friday out at Sanders Ferry, um, be there, show up. Thank you so much. You guys have a great rest of your week, and make sure to turn in next week for Between the Learns subtitle Creative Hub for Innovation and Thinking. <laughs>